In this video, I am performing interscaline nerve block by Vinny's method. The indications are upper arm surgery, arthroscopic shoulder surgeries, shoulder surgeries, shoulder manipulations, chronic pain treatment, etc. The block is not performed for forearm and hand surgeries because the inferior trunk is not blocked completely. In this video, we can see the landmarks, namely the cricoid cartilage, posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, the interscalene groove. Malik. Ask the patient to lift the head, identify the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, palpate the interscalene groove. From the line drawn from the cricoid cartilage, insert the needle at 45 degree angle, about 1 to 2 centimeters. The EJV may overlie. Ask the patient about the paresthesia in deltoid or the shoulder region. After attaining paresthesia, inject the drug. Here I am using lignocaine and bupivacaine in 50-50 ratio and distilled water added to it. Inject the drug after withdrawing. Avoid this block in anesthetized patients in COPD patients or patients with unilateral phrenic nerve palsy. The complications are phrenic nerve palsy and Horner syndrome by stellate ganglion block.